Cleanup continues in the northern suburbs right now from the thunderstorm that we had earlier this week. One warehouse in Lake Bluff is at a particular loss. It's Bernie's Book Bank. NBC5's Christian Farr explains the damage there impacts thousands of children across our area. A lot of these were in the racks. Some of them had water up here. Wednesday morning was not the greatest day for Darren Utenick and his dedicated staff at Bernie's Book Bank in north suburban Lake Bluff. And that's because a storm the night before damaged their roof. And that led to something else being damaged. The first thing we saw was water coming through the ceiling, which you never want to see. We had water pooling here. That something else were thousands of books the nonprofit has collected to help Chicago area school children who do not have the ability to build their own personal libraries. These are bins that have debris, and then as you come down, we've sorted them out. This one's debris and water on the top, and then this one is clearly just waterlogged. You see these books are stuck together. Bernie's Book Bank has been around since 2009 and has distributed more than 24 million books throughout the Chicago area. Figuring out how much they lost as a result of the flooding is still being calculated by staff who have been sorting through water damaged containers. Each container contains about 1,500 books. Yesterday we pulled down about 150 of those containers to go through those. Um, we're still not really sure how many of those were impacted. Bernie's relies on book donations from the public and even commercial entities. Utenek wants this tragedy to put a spotlight on their mission, inspiring children to love reading. Once we're available and open again to take book donations, this is a great reminder for people to go through their house, clean up those books, give them another journey because we will pass those on and let that happen again. Right now, staff here at Bernie's Book Bank is focused on cleanup and recovery, and they're hoping to fully reopen by sometime next week. In Lake Bluff, Christian Farr, NBC5 News.